Over the years, there's been many different YouTuber groups, some of which have come and gone. A few examples are Team Crafted, Click, Team 10, Clout Gang, and The Misfits. The Misfits, not to be confused with the rock band, are a group slash podcast consisting of six different YouTubers. These YouTubers are Fitz, Swagger Souls, Toby on the Telly, Zuckles, McCreamy, and I Notorious, all of which have over 1 million subscribers, with the exception of Toby, who sits at over 700 130,000 subs at the time of writing the script. With all of this being said, I really like The Misfits. As a matter of fact, they're my favorite YouTuber group. But before I cover why, let's get into the group's humble beginnings. The Misfits was started back in June of 2018 with their first podcast episode being released on June 15th 2018. At the time of writing the script, they're on episode 60 of their podcast, usually uploading one episode per week. Aside from the podcast, they have a main channel for The Misfits with over 1.4 million subscribers where they upload vlogs of the whole gang when they do something big, such as participating in the Sir Beast Battle Royale back in March of this year or revealing The Misfits house. In the pilot episode of the podcast titled Misfits Podcast Number Zero, they covered how they all met each other. Fitz met Swagger on a CSGO surf server and Swagger met Toby through Fitz. I Notorious or Matt also met Swagger on a CSGO surf server. Swagger then introduced Matt to Fitz and Toby, resulting in Matt and Swagger meeting the two other misfits. Swagger and Zuckles, or Mason, met because Mason found one of Swagger's videos and enjoyed it and left a comment saying, slide into my DMs, BB. Swagger then proceeded to DM Mason and they made a video together. Mason was then introduced to the rest of the group. Fitz and Toby met in high school, and Toby met everyone through Fitz. Fitz met McCreamy, or Jay, through a member of a CSGO surf server. The member who was known as Serenity told Fitz about Jay and Fitz contacted Jay and they began to make videos together, therefore resulting in him meeting the others. After two years of all knowing each other, the Misfits group was formed, resulting in all of them, with the exception of Fitz, moving to a house together in Australia in late 2018. The two main reasons that the Misfits are my favorite YouTuber group are the scuffed nature of their content and the dynamic between the six of them. Let's start off by covering their scuffed nature. The scuffed nature first started in the gaming videos they would make together, whether it be their CSGO, VR, PUBG, Overwatch, or Fortnite videos. No jokes were off limits. You'd hear a joke about anything really, anywhere from an edgy joke about race to jokes about a tragedy. If you've seen any of their channels, you've just about heard it all. Some of the members are certainly more tame than others. The edger ones I'd say are Fitz, Toby, Swagger, and Mason, and then you've got Jay and Matt who are the more tame members of the group. The scuffed nature further grew when The Misfits was formed in June of last year with both their podcast and the main channel for The Misfits. A fair amount of their podcast episodes are about scuffed stories about experiences they've had together, such as doing drugs or any sort of monumental event. However, that's not to say that there isn't episodes where they have genuinely interesting conversations, because there's a fair amount of those as well. As for their channel, well, what, what can you say? Every video is a beautifully scuffed adventure to say the least. The Misfits dynamic is interesting, to say the least. You've got Fitz and Swagger who are like the father figures of the group, usually being the ones who lead the other members, especially in the podcast by carrying the conversations. Then you've got Toby, who's like the group's mother, considering he's so feminine and acts very much like a mother at times. Not to say that that's bad or anything, of course, but rather it makes him unique. As a matter of fact, on episode number 48 of the podcast titled Toby Finally Comes Out, Toby talks about how he would have wanted to be a girl instead of a boy and how he's also considering taking hormones at some point but is still unsure of it. And then finally you've got Matt, Mason, and Jay who are like Fitz, Swagger, and Toby's children. Matt being the oldest child, Jay being the middle child, and Mason of course being the youngest. Ironically enough he's also the youngest of the group being 20 years old. With this I'm not saying that they're immature or anything like that. Well, maybe with the exception of Mason to a certain degree, but he's certainly matured a lot since the start of The Misfits. 
So props to him for that. What I'm saying is that during the podcast, they tend to not talk all that much and just follow along with whatever Fitz, Swagger, and Toby are talking about. Nothing wrong with this, of course, though. I've just noticed it while listening to the podcast, but it works, and that's why I love the Misfits dynamic. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, you can feel free to drop it a like, drop me a sub, share this video with your family and friends, follow me on Twitter, ShampayYT, and join my Discord server down below. And lastly, be sure to follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash live. But besides that, I'll see you all next one. Take care and goodbye.